the anti-Islam group Pegida were in Birmingham at the weekend. According to ex-EDL leader Tommy Robinson, it's more than just a rebrand. They want to appeal to a different sort of person, this sort of person, one with close to perfect middle-class liberal credentials. Would it be disingenuous to call you the ultimate pinko? Pinko? I think, I think many of my colleagues at SARS would disagree with that, actually. <laughs> Two years ago, a gang of Polish criminals broke into Paul Kohler's house and left him looking like this. The attack was used by some to make a broader point about immigration, but Kohler and his family pushed back against that narrative. They were thus drawn into the debate. Today, he's volunteered to get drawn back into it again. I always have an open mind. The only way to respond to other armies is to listen to them, so I don't want to go there sloganising myself. Do not keep on calling Tommy a far right a racist. What was the last demonstration you've been to? I've uh, the last demonstration I've been to. <laughs> that's probably in Cambridge where I was when I was when I was demonstrating for C N D. Hey, well, you've done something different today, though, right? Have you? What is that? Yeah. We brought along this man, Paul, right? Yeah. Who's the kind of man you have to convince that Pagid is different? Yeah. Middle class, Guardian reading. Go on, make the pitch then. I don't need to make the pitch, just stand and meet the people. Why are you scared? I'm worried, just, we're fearful because 360 Muslims were arrested on terrorism last year, yeah? charged on terrorism. In my hometown, six Muslims in the last month have been charged with terrorism. Two for inciting support for ISIS. I grew up with that kid. Yeah? He was my friend when we were growing up. The ideology is that powerful, <coughs> taken in its literal interpretation, that it can, cha it can change your friend. Some of my friends, another one of my friends converted in prison. You were listing the fact that certain Muslims have been arrested yeah. in your community. I didn't say all Muslims. Then, OK, so you admit they're only a minority. Yeah. So why are you worried about Islamization when you're only talking about a minority of zealots? Because I'm worried about the more Muslims we have, the more problem there is. And by wait, 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 you've accepted most Muslims aren't like that. Yeah. So why are you worried about most Muslims? I'm telling you, I just told you, the more Muslims we have, the more extremists there are. We are dealing with extremism. We're dealing with it. So I'll tell you what, let's just ignore it. Let's have an open door policy. Let's, let's let, how, how would you deter who's a terrorist and who's not a terrorist coming into our country? Next up, the march. About 200 set off in the rain. Like Paul, some had not been to this sort of demo before, others had. Have you ever been to a demonstration this like this before? No, certainly not. No. <laughs> I see. Why the Cologne attacks and all that stuff? Exactly, and it's yeah. happening in this country. Yeah. And our government and our police are ignoring it. So, that's why we're here today. And have you been to this kind of demonstration I before? Have, or? Yes. Yeah, what with the EDL? Or? Um, Yes. Yeah. It's this is facade of respectability that Islam puts up, and far too many people in the media fall for this. They're living in a totally fantasy world, in a tiny little metropolitan bubble, which ignores places like East Birmingham, where I live. Attack Islam in general. But, but, no, I, 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 so, no. so, Paul, his claim is that you're, you're, right you're living inside a metropolitan religion. London bubble. Well, I do live in London. I can't apologise for that. But, but no, London I'm not has. Any apologies? But I reserve the right to criticise aspects of any religion which yeah, I think are at odds with society. I and, I re and, uh, and I hold and I hold that with Islam. And I was looking today at various quotes from the Bible which talk about putting to death non-believers. Yes, the Bible I... moved on. It had a reformation. Islam's had no Bible. such reformation. There was a counter-demo in the city centre and a small breakaway group showed up near the Pegida demo with slogans of their own. Into the, hands of the, Muslims. the final stop, you an industrial park break. near Birmingham Airport. And more slogans. I'm also so, at the end of a wet Midlands afternoon, what banner did Paul Kohler end up flying? Back in his London metropolitan bubble, he tells us the anti banner banner. We definitely go into binaries, we go into polarised positions, and we shout at one another. And I think part of it, part of what fuels the Pegida type. type attitude is people not confronting their fears with, with, with rational discussion.